from here to the all-star break is to stay focused you know don't look at your vacation plans and don't get too far ahead of yourself finish our business uh, in these next five games get it done some good teams that we're going to be facing Kyle Connor returns five weeks and two days after suffering that right MCL injury, John, that was originally thought to take six to eight weeks to heal. How will his return enhance a Jets team that's already been playing so well in his absence? The big story today is the return of Kyle Connor. Now, Mark Scheifele is going on the IR retroactively to last week, which does not rule him out for Saturday. Drop and it's showtime from downtown Winnipeg. Works his way into where the corner chipped it back to the line. Morsi shoots the puck and it front they score. Gabriel Velarde got the last touch on it. Winnipeg opens up the scoring. Deflected in front, stopped by Halibut. Oh, he's standing on his head right now. Kyle, after missing 16 games, how'd you feel? Yeah, pretty good. Um, obviously, like conditioning's there. It's adjusting the reads, like knowing where guys are, and obviously playing. Uh, with Lyles, I haven't been playing with him in a while, so just reading the game, I thought it all went well, and uh, overall I thought we had a good first period. Chris shot through traffic, that's another stop made by Sorokin, and a rebound, they score! It's a big goal for Mason Hamilton, his first in 26! What a big and good active stick, can't get it out, now they do! Kyle Connor, a breakaway from center ice in! Connor will go in, shoots and scores! He missed 16, but he comes right back. It's an empty netter, and it's 4 to Winnipeg. The response you expect from a team like this, right? Top of the league, mm -hmm. wanting to stay there. Winnipeg, they do not give up goals. Like, they just, they defend as well as anyone. Hellebuck has been phenomenal. Everybody is trying to be at the top of the table when it comes to standings, and at this point in the season, halfway through, that's where the Jets find themselves. It's not by accident. And Winnipeg has not missed a beat. They just keep plugging along and they keep winning and Kyle Connor gets injured. It's all good. Now Nikolai Ehlers is filling the net. He looks great. Good crowd here this afternoon in Ottawa at Canadian Tire Center. And the puck is dropped and it's showtime from Canada, Ontario. <laughs> Regulation. Now he'll turn it north. Crossed over the line. Made a nice move to the backhand. A shot. He scores! What a move by Nikolai Ehlers. Jets win in overtime. This is a football. I wish I had it. Billy, another big job by you tonight, man. The NHL is such a, is, you know, grind of a league, but you have to be such a mentally tough because the same two points against Boston mean the same against Otto, which means the same against, you know, the next team. But you have to find ways to get yourself excited. So you do look across the, uh, you know, look across the aisle and see them at the top of the East and say, okay, this is that, this one means a little more. This is a, you know, this is a stick for us to look at. Mark, uh, do you see him taking another step forward? Today? Yeah, he was skating well today. Well, he's day to day at this point. He won't play tonight, but he's day to day. Gabe will be a game time decision. Cole should be fine. Third one is that center wing exchange. D, bring it back, center wing exchange. And the fourth one is that D to D, bump it back. Let's go. They came in here uh, before Christmas and we had 
and we had beat them. So you know there's going to be something to that. You know, you try and find storylines. Over 82 games, you got to try and find something, you know, because not every game feels the same. And I think that is the, the feeling of you know, what we were looking at when we walked into that game. I look at it as a matchup of a couple of teams that are chasing first place overall in the National Hockey League. Winnipeg and Boston, Jets and Bruins should be a really good one tonight. This is crazy. What's going on? There's no soccer ball. Lau shows up late and takes her ball. <laughs> oh, your ball. <laughs> <laughs> Today we couldn't find a soccer ball, so we threw in a uh, medical type ball, and it was a lot lighter and a lot softer. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. All right. I'm afraid to like handle it. This is a, certainly a big game for both teams. So we're, th these are games the players should enjoy. You're going head-to-head -to -head with the best, and uh, uh, so it should be a hell of a hockey game, and we feel good where we are. It's going to be a tough test tonight, Paul Edmonds, with no Mark Scheifele, no Gabriel Velarde for the Winnipeg Jets, but there's no excuses. Only solution. It's the Jets and the Boston Bruins. We're wearing white Bruins in black. But it goes right out in front again and a shot may score. And Jacob Lauko will put it home and it's 1-0 for the Bruins. 2-20 into this one. Around to the far side, came off a stick, grabbed by Perfetti, back for the line. DeMello shooting, he scores! Dylan DeMello walked into a one-timer and beat Jeremy Swayman and just like that, the Winnipeg Jets have come back to tie it. Who didn't shoot the puck up top for Lynn Holmes, shoots the puck in the front, they score. Wednesday in Toronto as they conclude the pre All Star and players break schedule with back to back games home and home against the Toronto Maple Leafs. There's always anticipation for Leafs Jets. Uh, you know, I feel like anytime two Canadian teams play, there's anticipation, but especially with this rivalry, it feels like there's a little extra fire underneath it. Courtesy of the North Division, so yeah, there's been some anticipation for these two games this week. Could you grab the, you grab the pair, the three pair? Uh. Mark out in a regular jersey and step closer to playing? No, he would still uh, be at this point day to day. Uh, both he and Gabriel are there skating today. We'll see how they feel after when you get to this point. We'll just see how they feel tomorrow and make the right decision. You're not only getting tonight, but these two teams will hook up again on Saturday in Winnipeg, and there will not be a game in between. So when you throw 120 minutes of potential hockey at two teams, that's what makes it spicy. I like the way that this home and home is set up and it should make for a very interesting week of hockey between Winnipeg and Toronto. There does seem to be some bad blood. There's been some flash points that we've seen and I'm sure people on both sides uh, have that in their memory banks heading into this one. Interesting matchup tonight. I mean, listen, LB absolutely deserving of a start. He's been great. It's a lot of confidence in your guys. You, know, you have two guys back there that either one of them goes in the net that you're going to get a great game out of them. It, it does feel really good. Actually, it actually gives you maybe a little too much confidence. From the Winnipeg end, look, they, they understand there's a few more cameras on them, a few more eyeballs, and, and they want to be considered among the best in the league where they've been here for the last few weeks. 
had a good team for a long time now, and uh, I think it's we're a good team as well. Canadian and, team against Canadian you know, team, every right? Time, uh, They're always a lot of fun, you know, coming here, playing here. Quick, coming through you know, the league, we're able to spread them out. The, the COVID year where we played each other, uh, minor, so it, it adds to that. So it's yeah. it's, uh, it's exciting. Yeah, how many do you have coming tonight? Uh, I think like 45 or 50. So lots of uh, lots of people from Whitby. It's foggy in downtown Toronto and, well, most of the GTA. It's one degree right now in the core, feeling like minus four when you factor in some wind. Leafs and Jets head to Scotiabank Arena this evening as Ilya Samsonov and Laurent Brossois is the goaltending matchup. Road trip comes to an end and it starts with a home-and-home -home set between the Winnipeg Jets and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Added intrigue, of course, Mark Scheifele, Gabriel Velarde skated this morning but they won't play against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the first line the Jets are going to roll tonight, Vladislav Nemestikov between Kyle Connor and Nikolai Ehlers. I think defensively we've played a really solid game in Toronto. You know, there there's some things we can work on offensively to generate some more chances. You know, we, we can expect them to come out and generate a few more chances. It's it's going to be important that we keep up that same style of play we had last game. We're looking forward to it Saturday night at home, the last one before the break. It, it's always fun. I think you know, anytime you can play on the national stage, the, the Leafs get a lot of coverage. Uh, you know, there's buzz around those games, so we're excited. Hopefully, we get a few guys back in the lineup, uh, you know, some key pieces, and you know, wake up tomorrow feeling good, and uh, we can get the two points, so we can go enjoy the bye week. You know, we're at our best when we're doing this, when we're playing fast. Okay, we're getting the puck, we're moving it, we're supporting it, and we're putting pressure on these guys all over the ice. Make sure they get the puck, we're staying above, we pressure, we turn the puck over, and we play fast. Let's go. Let's go. Boom! Oh. And the 
Jets will go into the All-Star break on a three-game losing skid. Obviously, there's some physical bumps and bruises that guy's got to heal, and um, which should heal over the next four or five days, and, and mentally just get away from it, go do something else, think about something else, and come back ready to work.